Hi, Doc Legendary here, and today we're going to talk about chronological age versus your biological age on this edition of The Sagely Shave. <laughs> All right, welcome back. So today is going to be a very hot day, like heat index of 105, high of 96, to call for severe weather. So we are going to mix it up here. Now, I know this is sacrilege to some people, but I got two shave soaps loaded in the bowl today. We're going to have some boat drinks and some sterling citron. So really going with the citrus theme here. We're definitely going to have to choose one of the mentholated ones here. But we are definitely going to mix it up. So let's get a couple drops of water here in the bowl and start lathering. So before we get started talking about chronological age versus biological age, I just want to address something. Someone emailed me and was like, hey man, are you sponsored by Sterling Soap Company or anyone else? And I just want to say that today's video is sponsored by me, Doc Legendary, because I pay the internet bills and I go to work every day at a real job and pay for the power and stuff. So no, all this stuff's out of my pocket. This is just something I do for fun. So just to be clear, if I'm going to sponsor something, I will like, I will put it in the beginning of the video, like in an unobtrusive way. So I'm not wasting your time. All right. Or I'll do what Linus Tech Tips does and like do it kind of partway during the video. But that's only if I get like super important or something, someone draws a thousand dollars. That ain't going to happen on this, not for the shaving videos. All right, so let's get right into it. Biological age versus chronological age. So I am in my early 40s, and you're not dead at 40, but you can certainly feel that way. And I certainly felt that way when I weighed about 30 pounds more than I weigh now. And then I discovered intermittent fasting and things like that. But still, I have, you know, to get back to my normal weight, um, I will feel more like my age. But the, really, the difference between your biological age and your chronological age is chronological age is how long you have been alive on this earth. It's how long, how long you've been alive when the earth has made a certain amount of revolutions around the sun, right? Remember that from grade school. Ooh, we're dropping all sorts of soap in there. Get back in there. I need all that mentholated goodness. And then your chronological age... You know, you celebrate your birthday and such, right? And you say, oh, I'm 40 years old, I'm 39 years old, I'm 63 years old, or whatever. So that chronological age is just a finite number. But your biological age is different. Your biological age really is how you feel. And there's a variety of factors that go into your biological age. Your biological age really determines on how what kind of shape you're in, how heavy you're in, what's your cardiovascular fitness, the methylation of your DNA, what chronic diseases that you've developed and you have, how well they're managed. All that can be calculated out as a number called a biological age. Now, there's different apps that can calculate out your biological age. I have a weight scale app, um, Middle East Made in China, and so they have some calculation for the... the um, biological age and mine is a little a little higher than my chronological age but I'm losing weight and I've seen that come down but it's less the number I want you guys to worry about today I don't want you to be concerned about the number what I want you guys to be concerned about is what I'm going to do every day to get that number lower because there are people out there who are 70 years old who have the body of a 40 year old. Why? Because they eat clean, they take care of themselves, they exercise daily, they get out and get sunshine, you know, they do things to actively decrease stress in their life. Those are all extremely important things to lower your biological age, you know. Avoiding, you know, avoiding heart disease, you know, and a lot of that starts with maintaining a healthy weight. And there's some studies, and again, I hate to harp on fasting, but I love fasting. I haven't eaten anything, and we're coming on the 18 or 19 hour mark today. I feel pretty good. Like, I've already exercised. I've gone up and down my 30 flights of steps already this morning, and I'm probably gonna go for a walk before I break my fast, probably a little after lunch, maybe around two. 
try to get a 21 hour fast in the day. But exercise is important to longevity and decreasing your biological age. And then also we talk about part of your biological age is how well you mentate, how well you think, you know? So it's not just about how you feel, it's about how well you think. You know, if you have Alzheimer's disease at an early age, that's not good. So how do we protect against that? Well, there's certain things you can do. You can eat well. There's certainly a genetic component to it. I mean, we're learning a lot of stuff. But as a primary care doctor, I would just like to say I'm going to hedge my bets on living a healthy lifestyle. Now, does that work for everybody? No, you can always find exceptions. I'm sure if you Google and you go far enough down the rabbit hole or you Facebook, you can find somebody who has gotten um, unfortunate genetics or whatever. But I feel like there's a lot of environmental factors and a lot of social factors and a, and a lot of dietary factors that go into your biological age and preserving you know, not just your mental health, but your ability to think clearly and to think intelligently and make good, rational decisions. We got a thick lather today. Look how thick that lather is today. Maybe I should use a little bit more water. I don't know. Last couple of videos didn't go so well. If you remember, if you tuned in for the last episodes, I had some wicked shape burn. This is much, much smoother. So I don't know what that uh, electric sheep was made of, but. Um, Man, it did not it did not like my skin, and I didn't like that. All right. So, my challenge to you all. If you feel bad, if you've calculated out your biological age and it's much higher than your chronological age, I have two tips for you. First off, whatever you're doing, lose weight if you are obese. Mm. A little rough down there. Did you hear that? Probably gonna have some razor burn there. Don't know what I did wrong there. I probably should use a pre-shave. The second thing is getting some daily exercise. Even if it's just getting out there and walking in the sunlight, do something to get out there every day and exercise. And that'll help with your cardiovascular health. You know, it'll help with the longevity of your heart pumping blood. It'll help your blood flow to your brain. And the third thing is do something to engage your mind outside of work. Because at work, we get into these patterns, do it, you know, the same, a lot of us do the same things every day. Me, I do a lot of problem solving at work, so I'm constantly engaging my mind, which is nice. But even outside, I play video games, I play puzzles with my kids, um, I read a lot. Doing those things, I think, can keep your mind sharp. And doing those things on a regular basis, I think, can also um, preserve your mental capacity and lower your biological age. So that is what I want you to focus on. Exercise, diet, keeping your mind sharp. Now right, I'm going to rinse off. Over. Skip the part where I had to get the towel out. I wasn't prepared. All right, so as we're finishing up, i got two more I'm going to throw at you. Num number four, affection. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, uh, you have a kid or something, make sure you're not just giving affection, but you're receiving affection back. I think that's really important. makes us feel good, helps our mental health, releases endorphins in the brain to make us feel good. I think that's really important, um, is that, that level of affection to kind of elevate our spirits a little bit. And then the fifth one is self-care. So you want to take time to care for yourself. Now, whether that's getting a massage or just spending time in meditation and prayer or, or just, just sitting down and just not thinking about anything, not letting your mind go wild, disconnecting from social media, just doing something to be calm and in your own space, without any distractions, I think is good for your mental health. It's good self-care. You know, make sure you're taking excellent care of yourselves. All right, so we need something citrus. We're going to go with the Glacial Lemon Chill. 
already got a lot of menthol on my face and I love it. Let's see if we got any nicks. We got some nicks down there. A little bad, but it is not nearly, not nearly as bad as it was two days ago with that electric sheep. All right, so that has been another edition of the Sagely Shave. If you like the content, please like and subscribe below. If you don't like it, leave a comment with some constructive criticism. I read that and appreciate it as well. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. And if you're in a hot climate, stay cool out there. Doc out.